Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at finding the area of irregular shapes. So we have the problem in the figure below, ABCD is a square and semicircle O has a radius of 8. What is the area of the figure? And we need to round our answer to the nearest hundredth. So the strategy we want to use for this problem is we're going to find the area of the square And once we find the area of the square, we need to find the area of the semicircle. And then what we need to do is we're going to add these two areas together, and that will tell us the area of the full figure. So in general, we're looking for the area of ABCD, and we're looking for the area of a semicircle. Oh, and once we have these two areas, we're going to add them together. Well, remember, in general, the area of a square is equal to side times side, or side squared. And we also have, in general, the area of a full circle is pi r squared. But since we're looking for the area of a semicircle, remember, by definition, a semicircle is, in some sense, a half circle. So what we need to do is we take the area of a full circle and just chop it in half, or, in other words, we're going to divide it by 2. So we're taking the general equation for the area of a circle, pi r squared, and dividing it by 2 to find the area of a semicircle. So now, we need to find the dimensions, we need to find the length of the side of the square, and we need to find the radius of semicircle O. But let's keep in mind, the radius of the semicircle was given to us. They said that the radius of the semicircle is 8. So we could label segment OC we could label this segment 8. Because keep in mind, a radius by definition goes from the center of the circle to a point on the outside of the circle. So this means that we could also label the radius OB, we could set that equal to 8 as well. Because by definition, all of the radii in a circle are of the same length. So now what we just found is the length of BC. Now we could say the length of BC is equal to 8 plus 8, or it's equal to 16. But notice how BC is one of the sides of square ABCD, so this tells us that the side of the square has a length of 16. So now all we need to do is we're going to substitute for the values that we just found, and we could find the area of the full figure. So now the area of ABCD is represented by side squared, so we're going to substitute 16 for s, so we have 16 squared plus, and now we have pi r squared divided by 2. But remember, by the diagram, the radius is equal to 8, and that information was also given to us in the beginning of the problem. So we have pi times 8 squared divided by 2. So now for the next line, we simplify. We have 16 squared is equal to 256. And now we're adding. 8 squared is equal to 64, so we have 64 pi divided by 2. Now we could simplify a little bit more. We have, for the next line, 256 plus, and now 64 divided by 2 is 32. So we have 256 plus 32 pi. But now remember, our answer needs to be rounded to the nearest hundredth which tells us that we need to substitute for the actual value of pi. So if we punch this in on our calculator, we should get 256 plus 32 times pi should give you 356.53096. This will continue on, but we're interested in rounding up to the hundredths place. So we focus up to the hundredths place. We look one digit to the right. The fact that it's a zero tells us to round down, so our final answer is 356.53. So just remember, in general, when you're trying to find the area of an irregular shape, the goal is to cut it into shapes that you do know how to find the area of, and then add the area of the individual shapes together to find the area of the entire shape. So we have our answer is 356.53. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on finding the area of irregular shapes. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.